Alright, so as I watched the last video, I realized that I never, the last lesson, I realized that I never really explained what ANSI does. ANSI, if you are a professional engineer using Autodesk Inventor, you use that as legal purposes to identify this blueprint that it belongs to you. That is your um, product that you have made and you didn't just steal it from somebody. Um, when I think of this, actually, the first thing that comes to mind is Iron Man 2, when you're in the beginning part, and the dude rolls out the uh, blueprint of the energy generator thing, and it says Stark Industries, Howard Stark. That's, uh, that was, he stole it from Howard Stark. That was his blueprints. The blueprints belonged legally to Howard Stark. And so, if you have your name and identification on um, the blueprint, it legally belongs to you. So, if you are professionally um, designing products, I, I shouldn't say products, objects, well, I guess it could be products, um, objects, then you would want, um, then you might use ANSI. Uh, you might also just write in your own to identify the sheet that is yours. Um, but anyway, so we're uh, we're in here. We already changed it to size C. So the next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and click on base. Base view is going to give us the object that we current that we last had. So the last object or we want to use part. Well, what's for me is part seven. For you, it's whatever part you just did. And we want to. We don't want to click OK. We just want to. We want to click base. It'll give us this little thing. You can move it up. And we just want to go somewhere on the sheet in the bottom left-hand corner. Uh, give yourself some room. And uh, let's go right here. And let's click. Left click. Uh, I didn't save it. So make sure you also save the part. I don't really want to save it. But I guess I'll have to. For this purpose. In uh, future tutorials, you will probably never see me saving any parts, just a FYI. So now that we've done that, we want to click on projected, click on this, a base, and then just just move your mouse cursor over to the right. This will automatically give you the other views of the object. So when we move it to the right, it gives us the um, side view, the right side view. This would be considered the front view, this is considered the top view, and this is our top right view. Alright? So, um, this would, this is the blueprints of the object. So, we drag it over, this looks pretty nice, right click, uh, that looks pretty nice, right click, and then your third one should be the top right view, right click. Sorry, I've been saying right click left click left click left click now you want to right click and then hit create okay so now that we have all these um, you can go ahead and do whatever you want to them uh, most people would go ahead and they would add dimensions so um, they would add dimensions to this one not so much that one so we're just gonna go ahead and start out with the dimensions Uh, you know, and this is what you do. You line it up so it looks really nice, nice and beautiful. And yeah, so that would be it. And then you do the same for this side. Um, if you notice, when it goes to the dotted line, that means they're all spaced out evenly. Um, it has a pretty spaced out line for you if you want to use that one. Uh, so this one you might want to move over a dotted line and just move it over a little bit. And uh, you can go from here to here, but it's uh, you don't really need it. It's not necessary. But I'll just go ahead and put it there. And then of course we need this side for last. 
So this would be what is necessary. Um, you would also want to put in a. Uh, let's see where we go. Um, for this uh, circle, you would want to put in a uh, a thing down. I'm trying to find where it is. No, that's not what I want. Here we go. No, is it? No, no. It's uh, it's pretty much a plus sign. I don't know. Oh, you know, it might be different because I'm using 2010 instead of what we use normally, which is 2011. Yeah, but yeah, you would, if you look around, you could probably find it. I'm not going to really look around too much, but yeah, um, so yeah, you would add a, uh, what it basically does is that it adds a cross to show you the perfect circle right here, uh, so you don't mix it up or anything. And then we're just going to finish up the dimensions. And there you go. There's your object. So. Uh, now you have the dimensions for that. You don't need uh, any more dimensions for this side. All you need is 0.5. For this side, all you need is the 0.5. Where the hell did it go? Click on the line. Okay, whatever. That was weird. And there you go. Um, you can also add color to this one. Um, these ones do not want color, but this top one will want color. So you can uh, double left click and you click on this shaded right here. It's a little blue guy. Hit OK. And that's the, it, then it will go shaded to whatever material you have. So there you go. And then you can just go ahead and print it out, but uh, make sure you, again, you label your name on it and stuff. So yeah, <clears throat> that was uh, the first five lessons. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, we're going to start getting into uh, more complex objects as we go on uh, to the other lessons. So I guess I'll see you guys next time. Merci, guys.